Welcome to the Fans Bet Grand National Preview. I'm your host, Justin Mottazed, and today we're going to be looking at day one of one of the biggest sporting events of the year. With me is my friend and colleague and our racing expert, Tom Lee. Tom, day one of the Grand National Meeting, where are you going to start? Well, I tell you what, we're in for a treat because I think it's a statement of intent, Jay, that when we work through the first four races, uh, they're Grade 1 events, so you literally cannot get to a higher standard uh, than what we're served up to begin those famous three days in Merseyside. Uh, the first race, 145, the Grade 1 Manifesto Novices Chase, two and a half miles. I think one of the big ingredients here is, will you be w with four or against horses who ran and had hard races at the Cheltenham Festival just three or so weeks ago. Working through these, three of the six runners in the first race did appear at Cheltenham. My tip is a horse who didn't, so arguably comes into Aintree, perhaps a fresher, more battle-ready horse. Uh, the name in question, number three, Surname, who's three from five over fences. I think the track will suit. There's been a lot of rain around. Uh, the ground, good to soft, soft in places going into the meeting. That should be absolutely perfect uh, for Surname, who, if you want to drill down a little further and do the science, he was beaten just a neck by a very good horse called Terrafort at Sandown. And he's since won at Kempton Park in a Grade 2 race, the Pendle Novices Chase. Uh, those are lots of good indicators. You could get a real good run for your cash uh, with number three surname in the opener at 145. What else have you got for us? Well, we roll straight into 220. That's the four-year-old anniversary juvenile hurdle. So these are young horses with their careers ahead of them. Uh, one man who's got seemingly the race ahead of him is Nicky Henderson. He's got the first two in the betting. He's got the Philly Apple Shakira, her bubble burst at Cheltenham. But I like her stable companion, uh, Jay and I. You might say we have a dream. We do in this instance <laughs> because number seven, we have a dream, uh, is the stable companion who I think will put it up to Apple Shakira here. Uh, since he's come to England from France, he's unbeaten. Four runs, four wins. Warwick, Doncaster, Chepstow, Musselburgh, increasingly impressive. And unlike those horses who went and had a skirmish at Cheltenham, uh, he's been standing still for 67 days, conserving his energy for the day that counts. We have a dream. Hope so. Um, two great picks there. Any more for any more? There is one more. This is a little bit more risky. However, uh, in the bowl at 2.50, this is the feature race, three miles one, over the fences on the Mild May track. Uh, the favourite here will probably be odds on. And yet, when we talk about the Cheltenham angle, it's another one of these horses who had a tough race. Might bite the favourite was second in the Cheltenham Gold Cup in a bruising encounter. I just wonder if that's taken the edge off him. And if it has, it could open the door for a horse who didn't run at Cheltenham and has had a little breathing operation since we last saw him. That's number one, Bristol Demai, who earlier this season was a Grade 1 winner. Uh, he also won a Grade 2 at Weatherby. On his day, this horse is a serious campaigner. Still only a seven-year-old, and you see the 75-day absence. If there's just a little Achilles heel there with Mike Bite, Bristol Demai, number one, is the fella to capitalise, I hope. Three great picks there, Tom. Always the professional. It's been a pleasure. If you visit the Fans Bet website, you can check out the latest odds on the Grand National. You can also follow Tom on Twitter, at Tom's Tips, for more racing tips and advice. Thanks for watching.